Hey everybody, it's Lee from Lazarus Homestead and tonight I am making a big ZD dinner. Uh, I figured I'd take you along. I got this recipe from Mandy in the making and I think it was a subby supper that she got from somebody. So follow me along because it looked fabulous on the channel that I watched. So I am going to do my best to recreate it. Let's get to it. Lazaric Homestead. Real people. Real living. I boiled some noodles the other day. I mean, no, this morning. My bad. I boiled these this morning. <laughs> uh, they are just the, the curly noodles with the ridges on them. And I gotta do something with them because Sierra keeps trying to get into them. I have some Italian sausage that I'm browning up that I'm gonna add some <coughs> chopped up onions to. And right now I'm gonna uh, shred some mozzarella cheese. All right, so I'm using my uh, countertop shredder. I love this thing. This thing makes it so much easier. crippled hands. Isn't that cool, Sierra? Is that cheese? Sierra's watching. It's mozzarella cheese. My uh, oven is preheating to 350. It's a lot. I know, but I don't have to use it all in this. I can use it for other recipes. I just love how quick and easy this is, and it washes so easy. Look at that. The days of grating your cheese by hand are over. This was only like $30 on Amazon. I love it. Alright, I'll bring you back. Alright, so I had some some uh, sweet Italian sausage in my freezer, but they were in that casings. They were links. So I just took the casings off and I'm breaking the pieces down. Because um, I want to use what I have. We don't eat sausage all that much. But... It's breaking down nicely. It just takes a little bit of work. All right, so I'm going to drain that and I'll be right back. All right, so I got most of the grease out. We're adding one jar of pasta sauce. We're gonna mix that up really well. Mixed in there, it smells delicious. I love mine full of onions. So we're gonna just get this all stirred up. Mixed in really well. And we're going to let this just warm up to warm up all the way through. I'll let that warm up and I'll be back. Okay, so I have added the noodles to the pot. We are going to add two jars of Alfredo sauce. Ugh. I have two different jars. This is the classical creamy Alfredo. And then I have the Prego roasted garlic and Parmesan because that's all I had. 
trying to do this without going to the grocery store. So we're going to get all of this out of the jar. All the while, um, the sauce over here is on low. You could make your own sauce too, your own Alfredo sauce if you want, but I just got back from the kids' orthodontics appointment and it is almost 4.30, so I'm just doing it with this. Just getting it all out of there. Alright, so we're going to mix all that in. goodly mixed in there. Is goodly a word? Probably not. All right. Now in a greased 9 by 13 we're going to put the noodles in. So let me bring you back. dump the noodles right in here. I'm hoping this is a 13 by 9. I, there's no measurements on it and I got it at the Salvation Army. Washed it all up. We shall see. Looks to be about that. Look at that. I got all the Get all these noodles pushed down in there. Make it nice and even. All right. Okay, now we're going to spoon the meat mixture over the top of the noodles. Smells heavenly. Make sure it's all even. Get that. Now we're going to top with some Parmesan cheese and then some mozzarella. So I did have a block of Parmesan cheese, but I want to use up what I have left in here. So we're just going to use, sprinkle a little bit. I'm not going to put a whole lot on. Then we're going to top with the mozzarella. 
and I'm not going to put, I'm not going to douse it like I normally do because Sierra don't like that. covered with foil and we're going to bake for 15 minutes at 350. Okay so I have non-stick foil but if you don't you can just spray with non-stick spray on your foil. Put that in the oven for 15 minutes and I will bring you back. All right, so it's been in there 15 minutes with the foil. Now we're going to take the foil off, put it in for another 15 minutes, and I will bring you back. Oh my God, this smells amazing. So I just put some garlic breadsticks in the oven, and we will get to plating this up. Okay, this is fabulous. waiting on that garlic bread because I put it I put the oven on for the garlic bread and I forgot to t put the um, garlic bread in the oven this is so good this is so good mm. you guys have to try this oh That elf, I'm not an Alfredo sauce person. I've said that in other videos. But when I make it with this pasta and the sauce, it's just so good. This is so good. Todd and Sierra both came out and had some. gotta try this thank you again Mandy in the making another winner recipe mm. wait wait how do you like it how do you like it it's how good I don't like Alfredo though can you taste it yeah is that your first or second ball you don't need butter don't tell her what she needs she needs butter on her pasta. <laughs> it's already test. got butter on it. I need tests. No, it has not enough. She needs a whole container and a half. <laughs> oh no, she's adding pesto. You just ruined my dish. They like pesto. I cannot stand the taste of pesto. It smells horrendous. I think it's good. Oh. You just have to try it with the right stuff. Uh, that's just not the way you pesto. Just ruined it. The, the there must have been something wrong with the dinner, obviously. No, I just like pasta with pesto and butter and cheese. Okay, Chris, get she yours. Probably, I'm waiting for her to get out of the way. Okay. She Chris's man size plate. <laughs> Tell me how you like it. Mm, that is good. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's a winner, winner. Mandy in the making does it again. All right, I'm going to let this man eat. He's had a rough day. More driving than anything. <laughs> <laughs> 